guest was voted world's sexiest chef after he posted a video of himself cooking shirtless. <laughs> and today, we've invited him here to make some Valentine's Day meals that's sure to get us in the mood. Please welcome to our show, Chef Franco Noriega. How you doing, Wendy? How are you doing, nice Chef? Nice to see you. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Of course, I'm <laughs> super happy to be here. All right, so what are we cooking? So we're gonna start with, you know, we're doing Peruvian aphrodisiacs. And where's and your shirt? There's no shirt because, you know, we're trying to be sexy here. It's Valentine's Day. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. And um, we're, we're going to do a light meal just because hopefully you'll end up in the bedroom. So we want to keep it light. Okay, yeah. Right? So we're going to start with the aloe ceviche. It's a, one of my simplest dishes. It's very easy What's to make. What's it called? Aloe ceviche. Okay. You know, ceviche is Peruvian, aloe, all that. So we have a little bit of olive oil here, mm -hmm. some lime. We're going to put a little bit of orange juice. Mm -hmm. Some of the cinnamon. Are you in a relationship? I am right now in a relationship with my restaurant, Baby Brasa. It's gotcha. consuming me, really. Yeah. So, yeah, come by, guys. It's like super good food. So, once we have the marinade here, I'm going to show you how to cut and low. It's the easiest thing, right? So, you oh, just take. What is that? That's a plant. Oh, yeah, it's oh, the aloe. Aloe, yes. Aloe. Yeah. So, you cut this in a bit. You take the spines off, yeah. just like this. It's very, very simple. You know what? This is really good for uh, wounds and everything. And you actually, your skin. Yes. This is amazing mm -hmm. for your skin. So, you just very easily slide the knife. Oh. And this comes off just like that. Yeah. You can put this in your face also, guys. It's amazing. I mean, when you're like, cooking. Don't throw it away. Don't throw it away. Wipe put it, it in your on face. You directly, right, exactly, Chef? Exactly, directly. And then you can. Take, make somebody take it off, licking it, maybe. Yeah. It tastes so good. I mean, you'll see. You'll see. So, Chef. Um, so, here it is. You cut it in squares. You take this green part off. Oh, it's slimy. It's slimy, yes. It's really, really good. I don't think I've ever eaten aloe. Oh, really? No. So, you're going to try it right now, and you're going to tell me what you think. So you then you just dice it up very very easily just like that. Okay, and you're gonna put it in this mixture right here. We're gonna put it here. Oh, and then, oh I thought these were ice cubes. Oh, this is aloe. this is aloe. Okay. Yes. So, so we're just gonna pour this on top, mm -hmm. and um, the, the aphrodisiac here is some cayenne pepper. So we're gonna make it spicy for you, and uh, go ahead and try it, Wendy. Let me know what you think. Okay. You serve this at your rest. Ooh. Yeah. It has a texture. We're gonna get in the, in the mood with the texture already. You know. Uh, okay, wait, hold, hold on, Chef. <laughs> okay. So try it and let me know what you think. Well, you go for it. How is that? No, no, no. No? Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, no, not that one, Chef. Are not, you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. I promise you guys, it's delicious. Try it at home. <laughs> wow. So here. We're gonna make uh, we're gonna make this um, just mayo. It's a very simple mayo. Mm -hmm. We have some lemon juice, um, some rocoto, which is the spicy part of it. This is very exotic right here. What and that is these? pickled watermelon radish, one of my favorites. Oh God. So um, this is a very simple mayo, right? So just make sure you put those, all this. You know, mm. you're gonna blend it all in. How is that? They it this is, is a, wonderful. What are you using them so for? So we're going to put them here at the montadito. Montadito is Baby Brasa's uh, favorite dish. We, it's basically a toston. And we're going to put some avocado here. This is a vegan now, montadito, now which I love. Now your restaurant is in Manhattan? My restaurant is in Manhattan, and, and I'm opening one in the West Village on 7th Avenue South. I'm Perry, guys. Thank you. Yeah, so please come by. It's going to be incredible. Um, and then you're can gonna... I just buy these in the store, or do I have to pickle them myself? Uh, you can buy them at Baby Brasa, but you can pickle them yourself also. Jeez, and we're going to put them on top of this, so you could try now. Mmm, I want more than that. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> I can see that you really like it, now huh? Now this is going to be a good one. I know. Mmm. Look at that. I mean, it's mm -hmm. crunchy, it has some creaminess to it. It's mm -hmm. delicious, right? Mm -hmm. And then you get, like, the whole, like, spiciness. So here we're gonna go for the chia pudding. This is what really made me famous, and um, it's basically um, it has some maca, which is like a natural Viagra, guys. So I mean, it's um, unbelievable and it's super aphrodisiac. So we have some mixture here. We have some cinnamon, maca, sh sugar, coconut, and some cocoa. We're mm -hmm. gonna pour this mixture on top of the chia. Chef, are you formally trained, or did you learn like? No, from your, I actually your yes, I went to school. I went to the International Culinary Center here in New York. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I studied for a year, and then I decided to open Baby Brasa, a healthy routine chicken place. You know, I believe that we should be eating real food, organic food, mm -hmm. and this is why I believe in non-GMO stuff. So, um, the chia pudding here, we're gonna leave it here for a little bit, and then it's gonna come up like that. Let me see if you, if you like this. This has some almond butter also. 
Mm. Wow, you really love the pickle, huh? Yeah, I finished them. It's funny because Ellen didn't really like it, but now you love it. Well, we're two different people. It's true. It's true. Let me see that. Ooh. That's good. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. And this is super really healthy. Really healthy. Super yeah. healthy and super good. And, you know, after, after all the things... <laughs> So there you go, you have some pickle stuff there. And then we, we wouldn't be Valentine's if we don't finish with tequila, right? Yeah. <laughs> so cheers for that. Spicy Tropical. Yeah, I'll see you guys Ew. at Baby Brasso today. Yeah. It's delicious. It's Thank good, you, right? Chef. For more information about Franco's restaurant, go to wendyshow.com. Thank you so much for being here. Of Happy course. Valentine's Day. Thank you, guys. Happy Valentine's Day.